Hey guys, how's it going? We are on my Frost Death Knight. And we're gonna win this battleground, hopefully. And, um, yeah. Let's see what their team is like. Holy Priest, Resto Shaman. So that's like... I'm pretty sure I can poop on a Resto Shaman. And I'm just gonna try to go off tangents in this video because I've realized that makes for better, better videos. So I'm trying the Breath spec. Not sure how good it is. I'm going on you, boy. That hunter's gonna. Uh, I don't. Do I want? Yeah, whatever. Oh man. You really rest, didn't you? Well, I'm dead. It was fun while it lasted. Let's see. Breath of Syndergoda. It's like... I'm not sure if I like Hungering Rune Weapon more. I think I might just because it's a one minute cooldown on like a Bloodlust. So, I don't know. Doesn't really matter all that much, I guess, technically. But, let's go on this Feral Druid. Feral Druid's because he's squishy. And I'll do a lot of damage to him. Just kidding, he got like full health out of nowhere. And now I'm dead. Well, well, that was fun. They might have nerfed Frost a little bit. Maybe. They might have, I don't know. I know the hotfixes came out. I'm not sure if there's really any noticeable ones, but uh, if, if there is, let me know in the comments, because I have zero fucking clue. Um, going off on tangents, kind of hard. Here's my um, talents if you want to copy them. Here's these ones if you want to copy um, yeah. Trying to think about stuff to talk about. Going tunnel. Stuff to talk about. Sometimes hard to think about. Like, I need to... Like, soon I'll be making videos of just, like, stories. Or just, like, telling stories while I PvP. Because, apparently, some of my stories are interesting. And some people actually like listening to me talk for some reason. Actually, as a child, I remember this one fond memory, and it was like, I was sitting in the, like the library in elementary school, and I don't know what the fuck we were talking about. We were talking about something, and I was that kid that would just go off, like, completely off subject, and just talk about whatever was on my mind. And I don't know what it was, <laughs> but the library guy fucking hated me, because I'd always raise my hand. Basically, all my teachers hated me. I'll talk about... <sighs> The library thing, and then like first grade, because God, it was, it was an adventure. Um, the library guy, I raised my hand. I just, I'd say just the most random shit in the world. And I, one time, I think I talked about. Um, I raised my hand, and it was just like I think I just raised my hand and said I got a dog. And he was like, what? You can just tell he was like, man, this kid's fucking retarded. <laughs> He's like, this kid's not going to do anything with his life. <laughs> From that moment on, I was like, that was the moment that I realized maybe I shouldn't just t talk about random stuff. So that's one story about elementary school. What's another one? Um, Oh, I got this. In first grade... It's like, if you're religious, I'm sorry. Because this makes me sound like a fucking asshole. But I'm not religious. In first grade, I tried convincing this one girl that God wasn't real. And then... Because it was like Santa. And then I was like, how's Santa real if, if God's not real? And she was just like, what? She was just traumatized from it. And I was like, no regrets. At all. It was It was pretty funny. I thought it was funny. But she didn't think it was funny. And then my, like... First grade teacher, she was like, what's the beef here? And I was like, I'm trying to convince this one lady that um, God's not real and she doesn't believe me. And then my first grade teacher was super religious. We called her, I call super religious people Bible thumpers because they're just like, that's just a term that I've used forever. And she was a Bible thumper. I didn't know it, obviously, because I was a kid, but first grade teacher didn't like me much after that. So, yeah, 
And then she emailed my mom, and she was like, your son tried convincing me that uh, God wasn't real, and I don't want him in my class anymore or something, and I was like, God. I fucking hated my first grade teacher after that day, because she was just stupid. Just a stupid old cranky bitch. What else? Um, my third grade teacher really liked koalas. It was like an obsession with koalas. She had these little, like... Uh, she had... So, like, if you read a book and you took a test on it, you would get this thing called a koala card or something like that. And it was like this little pink circle fucking construction paper cut out with a koala on it. And... I would purposely just... Because I was fat as fuck. I was 100 pounds in kindergarten, by the way. And... I'd take the test, say I passed them, and if you say you passed the test, she wouldn't even check it because she was just too lazy to give a shit. She was like... She would give you one koala card or whatever. And if you got 10, you could get, like, candy or something. And I remember she hoarded Tic Tacs, so I was like... I was just fiending for Tic Tacs in third grade. And I... I remember I said I read, like... At least a hundred books or something. Fun fact, some girl, like, I didn't know what sex was in third grade either. Some fucking fat... She was, she was like, morbidly obese in third grade, which, which was a sight to be seen, because I didn't know what sex was, and she was like, ah, oh, let me at that. And I, it was, this was third grade, and I was just like, what? What is sex? She was like, let me have your babies. And it was, it was fucking weird. Even as a child, I was like, something's wrong with this bitch. And then, like, ever since then, ever since I curved her in third grade, she was like, I fucking hate you. <sighs> that that bitch was crazy. There's a lot of crazy girls out there. Pro tip. Don't fuck with the crazy girls. Unless they're really hot. And then, and then if you, like, want to fuck with a crazy girl, then go for it. Because, I mean, they ain't leaving you, that's for sure. And you don't really have to worry about them cheating on you or anything, but... Yeah, that lady was... That chick was just incredibly, incredibly weird. And she she would, like, want to make out, and people... She'd, like, get her friends to come over and tell me that she wants to make out, and I was like, please, just fucking stop. And I looked like a lesbian in third grade, which I didn't understand. So, I don't think she's gay right now, but I wouldn't be surprised. Um, where's my chains of ice? Okay. There we go. But yeah, random tangents. It's great stories. What else? In kindergarten, there was like these grid papers that my teacher would give us. And there was one, I was like the kid that just didn't... Okay, another random story. Because I got on the subject of kindergarten, I remember. There was this one kid called Chris... And you, there was, like, you guys know those plastic play sets, right? So, he was, like, this just complete shithead. And he would just, like, do whatever the fuck he wanted. He didn't give a shit about the teacher or anything. He was, like, I could tell this kid was going to get expelled, like... Like, I don't even know what expulsion was as a child, but I could tell something was wrong with this kid. Moral of the story, he shit off a bridge. Like, off a play set. And, like, it was... I don't think it was during recess, but, like, the teacher was standing there, and all the kids were standing there, and all of us were just standing there. And this kid just, like, bends over on this plastic rock thing, and he just bends over it and just takes a shit <laughs> right on the plastic rock thing. We're all just standing there looking at him, and the, the kindergarten teacher doesn't even know what to do. But she's like, oh, God. I don't even know what happened to that kid. Like, I didn't even see him the next day. I'm pretty sure the principal was just like, get the fuck out of my school. So, didn't see that kid another day in my life. All I know is his name was Chris. And I wish I was him. Because that guy's a legend. If you have the nuts to shit off a bridge in fucking kindergarten, I can't imagine what you're going to do with your life. You, you're moving on to bigger and better things way faster than any of us ever could imagine. God. What else? Elementary school is wild if I think about it. Second grade, first grade. What else happened in first grade? I feel like more eventful stuff happened in first grade, but I can't really remember it. Um, 
We had to sing. I'm pretty sure everyone sings in elementary school, and I hated singing. And I still don't sing. Still scarred for life from that music teacher. I remember she gave us, like... Her name was... I, can't, I don't want to say her name, because... Uh, it's like... This doesn't seem like a good idea, but... She gave us, like, these little wood sticks, and it was, like, part of a percussion unit, or it was, like, some music unit where they tried to make kids, like, play kind of drums. But they were just, like, wood sticks. And... I think I hit people with the sticks or something like that. I don't know. I was a shithead. Oh, God. What else happened in elementary school? We were really into Lewis and Clark. We had a Lewis and Clark play. She really wanted me to take a part in it because she was, like, in charge of the plays and shit. And I was like, I don't, I don't really want to be in this play. And she was like, you got to do it. And I just said, I just kept saying no. And But anyway, the Lewis and Clark play was really cringy. Uh, it was really bad. It was... I just remember every December, you'd have, like, to go to a stupid fucking auditorium, listen to kids sing for, like, five hours, and I can't even imagine how much the parents fucking hated it, because we probably sounded like shit. God, I hope I never have kids, so I never have to deal with that. I'm just gonna tell my kids, you don't have to sing, because this stuff is really stupid, and it's not gonna apply to your life at all in the near future. That's a far death grip. Please die. I'm still thinking about stuff to talk about, but it's kind of coming slower now. Hmm. Okay. Just wanted to make sure we killed that guy. Another feral, really. I'm so dead. I tried. Okay, going going on more tangents. Hmm. Elementary school. What else happened? Oh, I had a speech impediment as a child. I remember going to a speech therapist when I was little. I don't remember what I couldn't pronounce. It's probably T. Because I know I pronounce my T's really, really like... Really emphasize my T's sometimes. So I've been told. Um, what else happened? First grade, second grade, third grade. Uh, oh, all of my teachers were lesbians. I think that's just a thing, like... Teachers, I'd say 7 out of 10 teachers in general are lesbians. From elementary school to middle school. Oh, dude, I have a wild... Wild... Okay, I'll tell us. Is he gonna cap it, though? Yeah, he's gonna cap it. I'll save that story for another time. But here's a spoiler. There was cum on a locker in my middle school. <laughs> and we had... It's so funny to think about, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i hopefully remember this. If you guys remind me to mention this in the next video, I will. Because it's one of the funniest things I think I've ever like seen and just witnessed in general. But, goddamn. Alright. That's me going on tangents. Trying to do stories. Let me know if you guys like this type of video where I just kind of talk about random stuff. Um, talk about my past. Talk about my experiences. Just, I don't even know what I'm going to title this, but... Let me know if you like this kind of story, kind of based video. Uh, if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. If you guys have any questions, comments, tips, concerns, anything like that, leave in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe if you guys like, and feel free to suggest any videos that you guys want to see. And as always, thank you for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.